Um, I, I think just because uh, he couldn't he couldn't take me down, and when he did, I got back up. I I, I knew he's a strong wrestler. He was in the middleweight champ for nothing, and he's a tough veteran. Uh, Fifteen fights in the octagon, and I think I just frustrated him. I hit him with heavy shots. Uh, I kind of got excited when I I know I sat him down a little with an elbow, and I got too excited, try to finish him, but fight turned out good. I I, I liked it. Um, he was stronger than I thought, um, but just yeah. stuck to the game plan and I stuck. Ask if the old man in the mountain look, the bearded guy. Grizzly Adams? Yeah, did Grizzly Adams get that at all? <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> at the end of the day, he's just another man in there trying to take my job, trying to beat me up, and vice versa, I'm the same. And he was game. He came out, fought, showed it. He's a true veteran in, in the game, and I just shut him down, plain and simple. I'm not trying to be cocky, but that's just the way it went. He was tough. Of, is this the kind of victory you needed, a tough, grueling match for three rounds? Definitely. Uh, any victory, you know what I mean? I needed. Um, I wouldn't mind finishing him, but it played out. Just, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Uh, I fought. He. I got. Uh, I admit, I got a little tired at the end. That was because uh, I was fighting off a lot of his takedowns, and he was resentless. He kept on going, and I just kept my head in it. Worked on what uh, all the boys in Hilo taught me: uh, train, standing right back up, take me down, frustrate him. And I think that's what I accomplished. And I frustrated him. He couldn't really get a, his game plan going, and I, I stuck to my game plan, and it, it worked. Hey, Kendall, when you said uh, advising him. Caught up with the free shit and all the line like that. Was the net result that you just don't train as hard because you? No, uh, the the training was there. Uh, don't get me wrong. I always trained hard. It's just my mind wasn't there. You know what I mean, I, uh, I just believed all the shit everybody around me was saying. You know what I mean, after I, um, I was I, I fought Cote. I, I was coming out of the show. I steamrolled over Price, Belchard. Uh, going into that Cote fight, I trained my ass off out here with Extreme Couture, all those guys. And uh, I went in that fight ready. And I, w I was winning that fight up until he caught me, but it's not how you start a fight, it's how you end it. And Cote ended that fight. And after that fight, every uh, everybody around me was like, ah, you're kicking his ass. You just got caught. Fuck it, you just got caught. And I started believing that shit instead of thinking, you know what I mean? Getting my head straight. So I, I went into, uh, then when I went into my fight with Jorge, I was, I put all that pressure on myself, like, oh, I can't get, I can't get caught, I can't get hot, caught. And I was like, you fucking silly bitch. You're, it's a fight, you're gonna get hit, you know what I mean? And I just had to remember why, why I fight. I love to get hit and I love hitting people. And Kendall, you were saying earlier, you had a seasoned veteran who was trying to end your career. So clearly you were feeling the pressure of what this fight meant. What went through your head? How good did it feel when you turned things around and get back on the winning track? Um, it feels good, you know what I mean? Everybody calling me out. Everybody said, oh, he's just a reality TV fighter. He's showing, he's, show, he's really showing his true colors. Guys out there are rootless, you know what I mean? They don't, they don't care about us. But plain and simple, everybody loves a winner. Nobody likes a loser. And as soon as you hit Rocky Roads, you see guys bailing on you. Straight up, that's the God honest truth, and it sucks. It, it sucks when you got a whole, say, nation behind you, like, yeah, yeah, boom, you lose. You got a little bit of people, then boom. Once they think you're done, it's rootless. And coming into this fight, I went back to Hawaii. I remembered why I love to fight. It's just I like getting in there and fighting. And I, I, I just, I wake up every day doing the thing I love to do. I used to roof, I used to do every hard job possible. And I used to hate it. I love waking up every day and going into the gym and running, dying, running five miles. You know what I mean? And I just love it. Like what kind of hard job? Like roofing for like a couple of years, laying tile at the wind, got fired, can't tell you why. <laughs> um, and uh, landscaping out here in the summer, that sucks. But everything. I'm a laborer. I'm a hard worker, and then when this op fighting opportunity came around, I took it, and I, I made it my dream, and I made it my goal, and here I am today, fighting in the biggest organization on earth.